Looking for their second win in as many weeks, the Eastern Eagles traveled down to Crown City and attempted to dethrone the South Gallia Rebels. The first half can be summed up in one word, ugly. Both teams racked up the fouls as both were in the double bonus early in the second quarter. Despite the large amount of free throws, both teams struggled for the charity stripe. Easter couldn't buy a free throw for large portions of the game, going 4 for 14 in the first half and just 8 for 23 on the night. Coach David Kite talked about how his team simply must be better from the free throw line to stay in these sort of games. When we get the opportunity to go to the line, we got to make the free throw. Um, we were 8 for 23, but we missed four front ends of 1 and 1, so really you're 8 for 27. And in a close ball game, you're not going to win a close ball game against anybody. I don't care who they are. And South Guy is well coached. They're a pretty good ball club. If you're not going to beat anybody shooting 8 for 28 from the free throw line. The first half sloppiness showed on the halftime scoreboard as the Rebels led 25-18 to 18 heading into the locker room. South Gallia looked to put Eastern away, but despite multiple 12-point leads throughout the quarter, the Eagles trailed by just six heading into the fourth. Eastern had multiple opportunities to take advantage of some South Gallia errors, but just couldn't quite cash in as the Eastern would end up losing 51-42. to 42. Despite the best efforts of Trey Hill, who had 21 points, the Eastern Eagles fell on the road to the South Gallia Rebels. Coach David Kite feels that his team just needs to start scoring more points in order to stay in these close games. Everybody, everybody thinks scoring's easy. Scoring's really not that easy at any level. Um, we, with the group that we have, we don't really have a predominant score that has grown up through bitty ball or junior high or junior varsity and been the focal point. Hill hit three of six threes on the night in another solid performance. For the Rebels, Braden Hammond led the way with 20 points and five boards, and the Rebels out-rebounded Eastern 28-20, a common theme for the Eagles throughout the season. Eastern's path doesn't get any clearer later this week, as they head home to take on an undefeated Trimble squad Friday. Reporting for Hardwood Heroes, I'm Ethan Sargent, reminding you to be heroic.